Joe is a guy from the city. Jane's a real country girl. Ever thought of swapping lives for the weekend? Imagine doing another kid's chores. Playing someone else's games. How about getting to eat what other kids eat? Here's the challenge. Take two kids from two very different lives. Switch places for a whole weekend. And you have a swap. I challenge you to fly a plane. I challenge you to make a dessert. I challenge you to an archery match. The ultimate life experience. Swap TV. Hi, I'm Christopher Noel and I'm 11 years old. I live in Orleans and I groom and breed Maltese. And these are my dogs. This is our dog room, and these are our prize-winning Maltese, Gracie, Sparkle, Lovey, Kissy, Lucy, and Bubbles. A typical weekend for me includes letting the dogs out, feeding them, grooming them, shampooing them, brushing them, and getting the mats out of their hair. Hello, my name is Jackson Matsky. I'm 11 years old. I breed and raise rainbow trout and speckled trout, and I live on Hope Young Run Trout Farm. I like living here because of all the space, the wildlife, and the birds. There's lots of different plants and neat animals to watch. I just love the land and the trees. There's lots of space to go walking, lots of animals, birds, insects, you name it, it's here. And my parents, I think they have a really cool job raising fish and selling them to other people. city person. I've never been in the country. I'm used to electricity, modern things. I'm used to it being very loud with the dogs barking. Oh, I'm nervous about a lot of things going up there. I'm nervous about tipping over the boat. I've never fished in my life before or camped in the country. Or I've never done any of this. I think it will be very exciting. Well, there's no suburbs around where I live. There's not too many houses around. I think that'll be really neat. Going to a place where they breed dogs and going to a dog show. I've never been to a dog show. I'm excited, but I'm not nervous or anything. I think I'm pretty well prepared. The fact that there was no electricity where I'm staying hasn't pleased me 100%. I actually am looking forward to it. I've never fished in my life. Or I haven't even seen a trout. Christopher's here. Hi, Chris. Hello. How are you? I'm Nancy. Nice to meet you. And I'm Bill. I'm Hi. Jackson's dad. And this is Valerie. Hello. Hello. And this is Wyatt. Hello. Well, we've got a few different things planned for you this weekend, so I hope you're ready to work. We can go on a bit of a tour if you want. Well, this is what this is basically our farm here. This is where we raise the fish. This one right here, we have pan-sized rainbow and speckled trout. In the back corner, we have some that are really big. They're about 15 to 25 inches. And the other ponds we use for growing. We're going to be going up uh, up the mountain. Once we get up there, there's a little meadow, and we'll stay at one of the cottages up there. I don't expect it to be very clean and tidy. These bugs are annoying. I hope no animals come in during night. I've never stayed in a cabin in my life. Why, oh why did I not bring bug spray? A key element. Wow. A lot better than I thought it would be. It's a lot fancier than I ever expected. No, well, it's not bad at all. It's a very nice place, actually. I expected everything to just look horrific, but it's very comforting. It's more like the city than what I expected, though it's still different. This place, it's very busy. I'm not used to having so many cars. The trees don't look as healthy as they do where I live. I'm not nervous. I, I think it's going to be really neat taking care of the dogs and grooming them and brushing them. Hi, Hi. Jackson. I'm Andrew. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Lucy. She's one of the gang here. She's one of the babies. This is Evolve. Hi, Jackson. Hello. And Vanessa and Melissa.
learning show yet. Christopher's room. See where you're gonna be bunking out here. So here you go, Jackson. This is where you're gonna be staying. Okay. I hope you're gonna have everything be comfortable. Listen, I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to settle in and I'll be back and we'll do a tour of the dogs. Okay. Hi, Jackson. You find everything you need in the room? Yeah. Okay. Listen, I'm wondering if um, you can take Muffy for a walk for me. Okay. And I'm going to just go and brush this little one here. Okay. Hey, Muffy. Do you want to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk. Come on, Muffy. Let's go for a walk. It's a bit harder than I thought because I thought a little animal like Muffy would be pretty submissive, but it's not. She does what she wants to do and at her own speed, and, and she obviously is in command. You wanna go for a walk? She's getting better. She's being better for me, eh, Muffy? I think I'm gonna do fine on, at the dog show. They shouldn't be too hard to groom. They're tiny animals, but I guess you'd have to be careful with them so their fur wouldn't break. Christopher, I challenge you to paddle and steer canoe. Well, Christopher, are you ready for your first canoe lesson? I'm very nervous. You're gonna be fine, Christopher. We'll have okay. no problem doing this whatsoever. Does that feel comfortable? Yeah, actually it does. Good. This is the bow. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what you want to do when you go to get into a canoe is you want to keep your center of gravity as low as possible. You're better off to be down on your knees if you can be and then sit back. I'm nervous. Though he says the canoe is very stable and that it's very unlikely that we would tip over, I'm still really nervous. I'm excited about the fact that I will actually be riding on a boat that isn't powered by a motor. It was very uh, exciting and enjoyable. And it wasn't as noisy as I'm used to. The only boats I've ever been on are speed boats and boats that are run by motors. I thought it'd be a lot harder than that. That was a fun ride. I'm going to navigate. I didn't have to navigate before, so it's gonna be quite nerve-wracking. Well, actually, I've learned about the J-stroke and how you think that just by um, using your oar and pushing forward, you think it would go straight, but you actually turn and that the J-stroke is what makes you move straight. I was very nervous. I'd tip over the boat, uh, but it turned out to be really, really, really different than what I expected. I think Christopher did very well today. He seemed to be quite apprehensive when we started, but eventually he overcame his apprehension and he certainly seemed to enjoy himself when we were out in the water. Are you ready to meet the furries? You bet. Do you have to put up with this every day? Be quiet, will you? Wash a dog, shampoo a dog, blow dry a dog, and groom a dog. First thing we need to do is get the temperature right on the. And over her face, it's really important that you don't put it in her eyes. So these baby shampoo. She's gonna be really sudsy and under her tummy and her armpits. That was the easy part. The more difficult part is gonna be taking the soap off. You kind of have to use a little bit of force. Uh oh, I think she's trying to escape. Come on, Lucy. So, does she look good? Yeah. She looks better. <laughs> now comes the blow dryer. It's drying time for Lucy. Okay, so what color bow do you want to put on her? Let's put on a black one. Alrighty. It matches her eyes. We'll do a quick touch-up of her face, and then she's done. There, that should do it. She looks great. She's ready to go on the show. Hey, Christopher, I challenge you to use the outhouse. OK, I'm out of here. That is disgusting. Sick. Come on, for 
first of all, there's no air refreshener. Second of all, it's, there's no electricity and it's just an outhouse. Third of all, it's very dark in there. You can't see a single thing. The outhouse challenge was not very nice at all. It was a very disgusting challenge. Tomorrow, we've got the dog show in Montreal, so we really need to do a little bit of training. We're gonna get, use Muffy as the practice chihuahua. So, the first thing is, the judge is gonna ask you to set up the dog. Now we're looking for the legs, Jackson, to be four square, so the legs right underneath front of her and the legs out behind her. Her tail's gotta be up and her head's gotta be up and her ears. We hold her in position. Judge is gonna take a look at her, have her first assessment of her, and then she will tell you to take your dog around. And you say to the dog, Mufet, let's go, let's go. If she goes quickly, which sometimes they do, you can actually stop and tell her to start again. Let's go. Now, chihuahuas are pigs. They love to eat, and they're really motivated by this. Look at her face. Oh, you don't necessarily need to feed the dog the bait. You use it to get expression and behavior out of the dog. Okay, now it's your turn. Now, Muffy. Stand. Go behind your Jackson, so that you're behind your Muffy. left, behind your Muffy. side. Two front feet right underneath her, back of the feet far. It's tricky, eh? It looks easier in the, in the movies. So take her around, Jackson. Muffy, let's go. Make sure you get a good grip on the lead first. Yeah, no, don't wind it around your hand. You'll be in trouble if you have to change the position of it. Muffy, stand. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Supper. What are fiddle hearts? They are baby ferns that are curled up, and when they're bigger, then they will turn into great big bushy ferns. Here's some fiddle heads. Let's start picking some. <laughs> hey, Christopher. No. Fiddle heads aren't my favorite, I'm sorry. Let's go back home and cook our dinner. Hey, you look great! Kiss the cook. Muffy says, don't mind if I do. Here's your recipe. Essex Cottage health food mix, two pounds of ground chicken, three quarters cup of sweet potato, two tablespoons of sea kelp, filtered water, and sunflower oil. Let's get cracking. A thing of beauty. Range fed, all organic. Mm. Cook up a dish for me and I'll have some. <laughs> no, you won't. Cook up a dish and I'll eat it. <laughs> you want some help? Christopher, we've got supper cooking on the stove. We've got a few things that you can choose from. Mm. I'm starved. Uh, fish. And those are hot dogs with fiddle heads. They're raw. I can tell. I think they taste better when they're cooked. <laughs> well, maybe you can cook them over the fire with your rainbow trout. This food, Jackson, it's a very different dinner than I'm used to. And I'm sure what she'll be eating right now is extremely different from these kind of cooked hot dogs. Here you go, Jackson. Just like you like it. Hmm, looks good. Down the hatch. It's not that bad. Well, you can take some home with you. Yeah, that's good stuff, eh, Muffy? I'm dreaming of cocktail shrimp right now. With parsley, carrots, anything. Just not fish or marshmallows, fiddleheads, or hot dogs. No! No, not again. I wonder if I can peel the outer part off. Mm. Oh. Oh. That is the most disgusting thing. Oh. I've had a really long day and I'm tired. And now I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Today's been a good day though. Aside from the outhouse challenge, I like the canoeing trip and the trip to find the fiddleheads and the hike. It was a very fun day. Okay, let's get some hay 
to feed the goats. There you go. How many times a day do the goats eat? Oh, they're eating all day. We just feed them once a day. Did you want to go in and pet the goats? Do goats bite? No, they won't bite you. Oh, good. You have to eat grain and, and the hay, lots of grass. Come back, goaty. <laughs> I'm going to go to challenge. Come back, baby. Boy, I'm running on your tank. Don't try that at all. I think it's going to be neat seeing all the other people that are entering dogs, and I think it'll be neat to take Mufet into the ring and let her strut her stuff. Christopher, we're going to be catching some fish out of the pond today, and to do that, we use the seine net. So the seine net's got a lead line on the bottom that sinks to the bottom, and it has a float line on top that floats on the surface. Now, Christopher, Nancy's going to start feeding the fish here. She'll feed them, and the fish are going to move across. So we're going to try and get it across before the fish lose interest in the food. And we're going to encircle the fish so they can't get out around the ends, and just keep backing up. I want you to come down here and then you can pull this, the lead line in. Now, look what we caught. Whoa. Oh, there they are. Whoa, whoa look at that. How that many fish would you think we have in the net? Oh, it looks like 100. No, I bet you there's probably about 2,500 in that net. It's amazing. Now, I'm going to give you the dip net and okay. you can take the first scoop. There you go. Oh, oh, this is oh it feels all really. It's slimy. Yeah. But that's the slime on the fish is what protects them from the bacteria that lives in the water. Well, I think it's going to protect it from me. Sorry, fish. Oh. Christopher, I challenge you to catch and clean a fish. We're going to bait the hook, so we've got some worm for our bait. Now, what is that uh, this for? This is your bobber. When the fish are pulling on the worm, they're going to pull the bobber down, and you'll know that there's a fish biting. OK. There you go. Good one. Watch to see if the fish is going to pull down on that. OK. There you go. It's going down. You want to set the hook? Mm. Oh, is there a fish there? Oh, no, there isn't. This is tougher than it looks. There you go. You like that spot? You got I've it? I've got a fish. That's it. Reel it in. There, I've got it. Yes. What do I do now? I've got it on the rod. How do you get it out? Oh. Try bending the hook over. And Oh, tried to bite me. Ugh. Well, there's my first fish I've ever caught. I'm a bit nervous it's about cleaning a fish, but I don't think it'll be too bad. What you want to do is emphasize whatever qualities the dog has. Now, this Mufet, you want to make sure that the white is really, really showing. He's going to go into the ring, and the judge is probably going to tell you to go around the ring. You're going to go around the ring. And then the judge will put you on the table, examine her, and then take you down back onto the floor and probably tell you to go down and back and then around the ring to get your ribbon. And just talk to her. Okay. She's in group five. She's a toy dog. She's a chihuahua. She's right here. Uh, in about 215. I challenge you to handle a dog in a dog show. You nervous? Don't be. No, I'm not nervous. Are you lying to me, Jackson? No. <laughs> this is it. Good luck. 428, right here. Bring your dog in front. Just set it right up here. Okay. Don't stay standing up. Yeah, I was a little bit nervous when I went in. She was a nice person, and she told me exactly what to do, and she helped me out of it. Straight down the back. Okay. Number one chihuahua in the show today, okay? You 
get all these ribbons. Thank you. Don't go away though, you'll have to come back again at the very end. Okay? Here's your ribbons. Yeah. It's too girls. Well, why don't you keep them? Oh, you won? Thank okay. you. You're welcome. I'm not sure exactly which ones are for which, but one is for the puppy, one is for this little three, best chihuahua. I don't know what the other ones are for. You're going to take the knife and put it in behind the gills oh. and cut up there and you just slide it up his belly. This is the neat part. This is where you get a chance to see what is inside the fish. Here's the heart oh. and its liver and its stomach. So you pinch off the gills, you bring out the inside and then you have uh, the kidney left. Take your thumb and you just slide it up and it takes the kidney out and that's it. Okay. Are you ready to try? Um, not really. I'm just, I feel a bit sick after just watching it. Just seeing the intestines and part and everything uh, made me feel queasy. Oh. It's a very tough life what Jackson has. Very tough. Oh, he did a great job. He, he was keen to, uh, to watch and, and to learn. He knew when to set the hook so that he was going to be able to catch the fish and reel it in. When you're faced with whatever problems or challenges, you just give it a go and give it your best shot. And that's what Christopher's doing. So that's fantastic. So Jackson, how did you like the dog show? I, I, it was great. It was great. You did a super job. I'm really proud of you. Not a lot of people can go in there and win the ribbons the very first time. Thank you. Listen, it was wonderful having you and we got you a little something. This is from the furries with our love. Thank you, Rufe. <laughs> You can bake some cookies for your dog. Thanks. Come back and see us. Thank you. My well, it was nice to meet you, Christopher. And we're very glad that you came to our farm. And, and I'm glad that you are it. Good. It was nice having you here for the weekend. And for being such a good sport, we have a gift for you. What is it? There are maple syrup that we made on the farm this spring. I love Feel maple like syrup. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Fine. Catch anything? Rather unfortunately, no. <laughs> the best thing that happened on the swap would have to be the canoe trip. That was the best thing here. It was the most relaxing and fun and enjoyable thing that I ever did. Looking back on the weekend, my absolute favorite part was taking Fred into the ring and winning the prizes. I felt that I had done a really good job just taking her around the ring. Two weeks before this, I never would have imagined that I was going to do this. Oh, maybe there is what? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, stop reeling in. Stop, stop, stop. Why? Where did it go? Where is it?